Hello, Virgo. Good evening. How are you guys doing? It's your Mo. And we're here to talk about your life. For the month of May, any placement of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Rising, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, North Node, and South Node placements, and anybody who would like to be nosy, they in here. I promise you. I made that face because my right hand is itching a little bit. So this could be uh, you receiving some money, somebody putting some money in your hand, literally, in the month of May, or you being awarded some sort of opportunity. Congrats. Either way it go. Thank you guys for all the continued support. Bookings, likes, shares, comments, subscribes, recommendations, tips, all that. I really appreciate it. To book a personal reading with me. Pricing and contact information will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment and comment section. Make sure that you are liking the video and subscribing to the channel. It keeps me in the algorithm, in the aerospace, otherwise known as the rotation. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Updates. I'm stepping out the office. Ah! I'm stepping out the office. So I'll be closed for booking starting May 13th. Um, and up until that point, I will be running a discount promo special on my spiritual journey readings. They're usually 50-50. I'm doing them for 40-40 up until the day that I close. Now, be aware. Thank y'all to everybody that's been booking so far. I really appreciate it. Be aware that if my time slots fill up too fast, I'm going to have to shut it down. Because I'm in prep week. I got to do my prep this week, Okay. I'm not sure on when I'll be back open. I'm not sure. Okay? So I'm, I gotta take some time off. It's not an indefinite thing. Wait, indef indefinite? It's not a definite thing. I don't know which one. So, what, <laughs> what we're gonna do, let's move on. We're gonna pull three zodiac signs and see what placements you guys might have, who could be around you during this time, who could be being nosy. And then we're gonna pull one monthly oracle message card to see what your overall energy is for the month of May. And then we'll do a spread. So, here guys, what zodiac signs can resonate with this uh, Virgo reading for the month of May in the year 2023? Bam, bam, bam. Scorpio. So, they could be a Scorpio in the vicinity, in the box, in the driveway. Some of y'all, they could be a Scorpio around you in some sort of way. We have Gemini, Taurus, and Cancer. Strong water energy. So some of y'all could have strong water in your chart or there is a water sign around you in some sort of way. Okay. Um, some of y'all also might have a child that is a Scorpio, Gemini, Taurus, or a Cancer. Um, so all suns. That's what came to mind. That's why I thought about the child thing. Sun and Gemini, Sun and Taurus, Sun and Cancer. And Gemini rising. You guys could have these placements. These zodiac signs could be around you during this time. There could also be some messages for you in these monthly readings. Um, cancer. I haven't posted cancer yet. All right. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Virgo zodiac for the month of May? Woo! Hold up, hold up. I ain't like the way that came out. In the year 2023. What's going on with the Virgo zodiac for the month of May? In the year 2023. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Okay, pregnant with due dates and deadlines. Congratulations, Virgo. So you guys could have recently had a child or currently be with child. Okay, I see a little baby fever going on around during this time, okay? Due dates and deadlines. Someone here could be uh, finding out when they're going to give birth. This could have uh, recently, like recently, like in the past like few weeks and months, this could have happened. Some of y'all, this is also being um giving birth to like a new chapter in life, right? Due dates and deadlines. I'm here. You got a ooh. I'm here. You got a narrow window, all right, to approach something, get something done. It's like you want a limited time schedule in regards to you getting something turned in. Four forty four confirmations, getting something done, getting something handled. I'm oh, sorry, I keep drinking this. It's good as fuck. <laughs> sorry. All right, let's do a spread. 
Spirit guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May in the year 2023? No. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May in the year 2023? Also, with pregnant due dates and deadlines, I don't know, Virgo. Are some of y'all feeling like you need to uh, have a child by a certain time? Or some of y'all don't feel that way either. Some of you guys might, you know, be in this energy as well. It's like you want to have a kid by this time. Let me tell you something. Shut the hell up. If that, especially if you're young thinking that. Because I thought that. I remember when I was like, I want to have a kid around 25. Here I am. You're 27. No, ma'am. Okay? Like, girl, I'm well well into the 30s. Okay, girl. The, the 20s. Mary in our 20s now. Where the fun in that? You know? <laughs> like, nah. Nah. All right, I just, I just want to enjoy my youth a little bit more. But. Um, some of you guys, this could be, be careful about thinking that you need to, you know, uh, be pregnant or have a child by a certain time. Like, no, there is no time limit, please. Okay. Nine of wands with the four of swords. Okay, Virgo, let me show my way out. Some of you guys might not want to be bothered during this time. It's like with the four of swords, you know, this for me is like, you're not getting enough sleep. You're a little bit irritable. <laughs> so it's, it could be a little easy to upset you. Okay, Virgo, what's going on? I just get this energy of you a little bit standoffish. With the four of swords, some of y'all, there might not be nothing wrong with you. I'm sorry for assuming, my bad. There might not be anything wrong with you. It's just, um, uh, uh, it's just you're not friendly with everyone. Four of swords, you like to have an air of um privacy about you. You don't like to just have any and everybody around you. Oh, especially if you're pregnant. Don't just be coming up and touching on, on, on my belly. On a real one's stomach. Are you serious? Four of swords, three of cups, two of pentacles, and the ace of cups. Um, Yeah, I feel like some of you guys with the three of cups, you could be like, no new friends. <laughs> kind of in this energy of wanting to stick with the solid three, two, and a one that you got around you. You don't really want to. Um, create new bonds. You are just mainly focused on who you have around you during this time. Taking care of who was around you during this time, right? In other news, I see some of you guys giving the cold shoulder to a certain um, friend or certain connection with someone or someone giving you the cold shoulder because the nine of wands is technically not your energy, okay? This could be coming from a water, earth, or a fire sign individual. Uh, Sagittarius, Cancer, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini is out here. Um, yeah, like I said, uh, Virgo, either you feel like someone here is kind of giving you the cold shoulder, like they don't want to be bothered by you, or Virgo, someone feels this way about you. It's like, where's the love? Four swords and the ace of cups. This person isn't as inviting and or welcoming as I'm used to them being or someone is used to you being. Is there a reason? Spirit guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May in the year 2023? Is, is, what was the reason, Virgo? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Eight of swords with the justice card. Look like you don't know either. <laughs> Justice, Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you guys, please stop yourself from being negative Nancy. Nine of Swords is the overthinker. Eight of Swords is the pessimistic Patty. You need to be careful about being... It's like, don't these cards look identical? It looks like she has control over whatever the hell this is. It looks like she got control over her thoughts in this card with the Nine of Wands versus this is someone here who's letting their mental control them. You need to be careful about wanting to control every fucking thing except for your mental it's like things are gonna happen as they happen virgo so don't be overly stubborn and you know <sighs> you always in panic mode you're always like i said uh assuming the worst in regards to something you're always um like I said, being negative in regards to certain things. Certain things. Justice card, Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could relate to financial matters. How am I going to pay this fucking bill? You pay the bill every time. The bill get paid every time. Yet here you are again asking how the bill is going to get paid. Like it don't get paid. Like it don't get paid. I don't get you, Virgo. I really don't. All right? It's like being overly 
stressed that things will not work out. Things are going to um, fuck up, inconvenience you. And it's like, girl, you can roll with the punches. You've done it before. <laughs> You've done it before, right? I feel like a lot of you guys could be or needing to be um, a little bit more financially resourceful if you are. Uh, Justice card, Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, it's like you might find yourself having a little bit of extra to work with because you've been doing so well in saving, budgeting, um, cutting down. Like I said, just being very resourceful, right? Some of you guys could be needing to. Um, I think I brought this up in Leo's reading. If you always stressed about money, maybe you got to take a look at how much money you're bringing in versus how much money you're spending. Okay. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May in the year 2023? King of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. Virgo, that's you on the bottom. Mm. Virgo, I see some of you guys could have decided to quit a job, leave a home, let go of a relationship. Dom, girl. Girl, it's just, it's over season for you. King of Swords, girl, everybody getting cut. <laughs> with the nine of wands, you don't care. It's like with the five of wands, ten of pentacles, and the ten of swords, if I feel like it's an interruption, I'm getting rid of it. Some of y'all could have did this with a person. Heavy on the air, fire, a little bit of water. It's more air and uh, fire. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini. It's like with the nine of wands, eight of swords, you're not going to try to figure nobody out. Hey, that man is not a Rubik's Cube. Okay? <laughs> Very, he's mentioned, well, not just man. Let me stop. I was about to reveal some shit. People are simple. 12, 12 confirmations. People are very simple. You don't need to figure nobody out. You will know whether or not somebody likes you, wants to be around you, appreciates you, value you, how you treat, and how they treat you. It's not mathematics, girl. And if it is, it's very simple mathematics. Two plus two, we equal what? Four. So with the eight of swords, if someone here was coming off as confusing, inconsistent, oh, I'm a businessman. It's it, it's like with the ten of pentacles. I got time for that. I'm grown. All right, girl. If you ain't gonna tell me how you feel, why you feel the way that you feel, or if you are feeling some sort of way in general, bye. I ain't got time for it. I don't. Okay. You can sit with that, right? Like I said, some of you guys could have did this with a fire or an air sign individual, or a fire or an air sign individual did this with you. Because like I said, your energy isn't really in these three cards. I see some of y'all could have quit a job. <sighs> Or you are quitting a job, like you turned in your two weeks notice, or you will be in the month of May. I feel like if you are doing that, don't don't overthink it. It's like, okay, like, you know, maybe you quitting and you don't have another job lined up. Excuse me. It's a little risque. It's a little risque. But with the five of wands, if it's something that you just sort of feel like you can't be a part of anymore, girl, who am I to tell you? Stay there and suffer. If you feel like you gotta leave now. Let's go ahead and get you out of here, right? But like I said, don't be a native Nancy in regards to you, you know, finding a new opportunity. It's like if you believe that this had to go, then that's probably because something new was supposed to be brought in to replace it. Uh-oh, word on the street. Five of Swords, Moon Card, Six of Wands, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, and the Four of Wands. Virgo, people don't know how you do it. Moon Card, you like to do your work in the back, behind the scenes. But with the Five of Swords, that don't stop people from talking. Six of Wands. A lot of you guys are in this space to where people see you as successful. They see you as someone here that, you know, is getting it done. And with the Five of Swords, there could be a lot of gossip about how you're able to make this happen. Because with the Moon Card, you are not someone who I feel like is very public about the things you do behind the scenes. Nine of Wands, Eight of Swords, and the King of Swords. I like to keep them guessing. <laughs> I like to keep them guessing, right? And you're just not someone that goes around telling people about all your business. So, here, guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May in the year 2023? Ten of Cups with the Nine of Cups.
I do feel with the nine of wands, some of you guys build to a wow, 10 feet tall. There is someone here that I feel like you could be guarded against, heavy on the air, water, little bit of fire. Um, this could be someone that you're related to, someone that you have messed with at some point in time, or someone that you was cool with. Um, with the king of swords, it's like... To avoid Eight of Swords, this, what are they doing? Why do they feel that way? Now they not, why are they not talking to me? Why is, why are things like this? To avoid that, you just kind of. This for me is to like, because you don't want to give someone any mixed, uh, like this, like say this. Someone's interested in you, which I do see that. Page of Cups out here with the Nine of Cups. Someone is interested in you, but you're not interested in them. This for me is like you're not going to hug them. You're not going to text them at no 11, 12 o'clock at night. Um, you're not going to give them false hope. You know that any anything could happen between y'all. It's like, mm, Nine of Wands, no hug from me, sir. Where's your hug? In the car, which you came in. All right? It's outside. I ain't got it. I ain't got it on me. Um, because you know that you can't see October 18, 2026, you are not finna stress about it. You are not finna overthink you overthink and be like, oh girl, I mean it's 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 a year and some change away, but you know what what what's gonna happen? It's like with the nine of wands, you kinda have to psych yourself out from thinking too much. You know, King of Swords is out here. It's like, girl, why why are you why is your mind on that? It's unnecessary. <laughs> This for me is not overthinking um, how someone is acting towards you. If they act in a certain way, they act in a certain way. Nine of Wands, hey girl. It's like, it ain't got nothing to do with me. It's either it ain't got nothing to do with you or you were someone that tries not to let it affect you. It's like, ah, you know. Must be them. Virgo, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be careful, babe. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May in the year 2023? Or just some of y'all are in these energies where, like, you don't want to be around confusion. So you don't want to be around someone that tends to live or act a little bit kind. What's the word I'm looking for? Hypocritically. It's like you say one thing, but you do another. And they live their life like that. It's like you don't want to be around someone like that. You know what I mean? Knight of Cups with the four of wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm telling you, I do see this. There is someone here that um, I feel like with the nine of wands, girl, back up off me. Someone here can't figure out why you're no longer interested in them. Why the pursuit is over. Heavy on the air, water, and fire. It's like they can't figure out why. Like, what changed? I see someone here uh, wondering that. 1818 18 confirmation. I'm gonna be it, it, it came to mind, so I really feel like that's a, a message. Someone here playing dumb. I feel like someone here playing dumb. There's like someone here is wondering why you why you switched up on them, why you act in a certain way towards them. Or this is uh someone this is you to someone. You wondering this about someone, and it's like you're not dumb. You're not dumb. I feel like someone here is a... Uh, <laughs> I'll be knowing. It be it be like hives. It be something funny, something wrong, something in the Kool Aid, something in the milk. Devil. Some of y'all can sense the toxic energy radiating off of somebody. Look at it. Five of Swords, Moon card, Six of Wands, and the Devil. It's like this is someone here that will congratulate you, but in the back of their mind, they hope they, they saying, I hope everything crumble for you. Or you don't deserve that. 1919 confirmations. It's a secret hater. This is really your enemy. Your best friend is really your enemy. Some of y'all, that is the case uh, with a certain situation here. Or someone here just not being honest with you. Five of swords, moon card, and devil card. You notice that someone here is manipulative. Someone here doesn't tell all the facts. I told you, someone here is very hypocritical. They say one thing, but they move a different way. It's not a bad thing. All right? Some of y'all have seen this with an air sign. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. But I really only see Aquarius and Gemini. Um... Maybe a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but only Pisces. Well, no, no, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, 
A little bit of fire is out here. Well, not a little bit. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. This for me is at work. In regards to the job situation, we want to take care of you. So why you have me working, uh, you know, 12 days in a row? You know I got a baby. Why would you schedule me like that? It's like someone here trying to piss on you and tell you it's rain. I told you somebody here not dumb. Somebody here playing stupid. Spirit guys, what's going on? Someone here knows that they have talked shit about you. Someone here knows that they have done something really fishy. Okay, someone here knows that they have done something very questionable and a suspect. All right, and now they, they want to play the whole, well, I just don't understand why they're acting that way. Someone here lives a certain way. They do things a certain way. I just can't figure out why they act that way towards me. So, here, guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May in the year 2023? You ain't going to make me seem like a nut. Like, okay. Okay. Food card. Yeah, girl, I, I, I'll play the role with you. Okay. Okay, some of y'all with the food card, I don't really feel like you have the time to dumb things down for people. You don't have the patience and or time. Nine of Wands with the King of Swords. You are the type of where you can get a little bit too honest with your mouth so with the food card you rather keep it nice and breezy unless somebody address you okay but you rather just okay girl if you want to play dumb we can play the game we can play the game but just know with the nine of wands you don't get don't you don't step over this line over the line you don't step over this line all right this boundary that i have set four of pentacles oh and this is also miss store or mrs interessante oh Virgo, look at you Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the uh, Fool card. Some of y'all, whenever it comes to living life, being passionate about certain things you want to go towards, you are so la 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 la. It's like you're skipping through fucking flowers, bitch. It's crazy. All right. Some of you guys, whenever it comes to experiencing certain things in life, you are so jovial, so loose. Okay. It's like you are such a joy to be around. And I feel like people could see you in that energy and then wonder why they don't get that from you. Probably with the Nine of Wands and the King of Souls, you don't fuck with them. You don't fuck with them like that. It's like, why do I get the cold shoulder of Virgo? But I see Virgo over there being the life of the party. Because I don't like you. Because I don't like you. All right? I don't fuck with you like that. Come on. Four of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. I don't like you. I don't want. I don't want you that close to me. It's like, um, yeah. I feel like someone here is wondering why they're not receiving a certain um side of you. Well, someone here is wondering why you got me blocked. You really gotta ask. It's like, girl, you no, don't don't play dumb around me. Do not. I don't have the patience for it. Right. Tower card, Six of Cups, and the Strength card. Some of you guys could be experiencing this with a past uh, situation. I also see someone here. It's like they're going to they double it. It's like if you do this to someone, someone here going to try to do this to you. Oh, well, fine. You don't want to be my friend? Okay? It's like that. And you like, okay, girl, you can take it like that if you want to. But you, you know the reason why. It's like, I feel like someone here is going out of their way to be like, oh, okay. well, if they don't want to be, be with me, if they don't want to, um, talk to me, uh, be in a relationship with me, be cool with me, fine. It's giving Leo. It's giving very, <laughs> it's giving very dramatic. It's giving very much theatrics. But you know, you and whoever that person is, they know the real. So you can you can you can you can fool the masses all you want. You can tell the masses whatever you want. I don't mind being a villain, girl. You know you know everybody says the best villain is you know uh, Thanos, whoever else. You know who who I like, Davy Jones. Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean, fantastic. He was an amazing villain. I loved him. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to do the voice. I'm trying to do the voice. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm not gonna fuck it up. Um, do you fear death? Postpone the judgment. Join my crew. Serve ten years before the mass. <laughs> oh my god! 
I love Davy Jones running Pirates of the Caribbean. He's an amazing villain. All the way up until the end, to uh at World's End, whenever they um whenever them, the East Trading Company, um Jack, Elizabeth, Will, and all them, and uh, Barbosa, they was all, you know, about to fight one another. And they was about to go into the whirlpool, and the dude was like, we, we, we gonna drown. And he was like, you afraid to get wet? It was so funny. It was so funny. I love Davy Jones. But some of y'all don't mind being a villain. You don't mind being a villain of a story of someone who's a liar. <laughs> it's like, girl, where's the credibility in the first place? Where's the credibility? You don't care about what someone has to say about you, how someone portrays you in their version of events because you and them know what it really is, right? So, here, guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May in the year 2023? Hermit. Virgo, is that not you? Also, I was about to say, you make this shit look so easy. Hermit card, Knight of Cups, King of Swords. You make living a life of just freedom just a life of authenticity you make it look so easy 26 26 confirmations i really feel like it's because you don't care about what other people had to say about you or think about you nine of wands eight of swords and the king of swords when i walk through okay some of y'all when i walk through is when i walk through i don't know about what somebody got to say about what i got on okay ow where i'm coming from give a fuck <laughs> i don't give a fuck keisha Hermit and Nine of Wands, because I'm here. I really like it. I really like it. Nine of Wands and the Ten of Cups. It's like you are secure in self. You are secure in self. So other people's opinions of you don't really shake you. Because, Fool Car, you know you live in authenticity. King of Swords, you speak the truth. You are very honest. You know, Taurus' um, title was their spirit aggravates people, demons. That's what it's giving me here. I just feel like you tend to rub your authentic spirit tends to rub people with inauthentic spirits the wrong way. 27, 27 confirmations. Ooh. Yeah, it's like I don't feel the need to clear nothing up. <laughs> with anybody you know somebody here asked me what happened between so and so i will politely say that's not none of your business i don't really need to go into detail girl high priestess in the judgment card that just shot out also some of y'all got an autopilot like none other i feel like a lot of you guys your discernment is so strong you just know what steps to make you just know what steps to take with the Knight of Cups and the Fool card. Some people might see you with someone here who's just la di da di da, just falling into luck. You know, people might consider you lucky with the King of Swords. Like, no, nah, I'm, I'm very, I'm very methodical. I'm telling you, you know how to play a. I want to say a dummy, but this is just you know how to play someone that's very unaware. You know, other all the while people don't even know you the mastermind. I keep bringing up movies. I watched Samaritan on Amazon Prime with Sylvester Stallone. Um, spoiler alert. It's about a kid finds out that he is a superhero. By the end, we find out that he's actually the anti-hero. Um, it, uh, it was his brother or something like that. Um, people thought... How do I say it? Sylvester Stallone wound up being the uh, the bad guy in the movie, but everybody thought, well, the kid, the little boy thought that he was the good guy, um, and it turns out that he was the bad guy, and the villain in the movie was trying to be a new version of the bad guy that he thought died, right, and he, you know, whenever they was fighting, he kept referring to him referring to him as the hero and the good guy and all that, and Sylvester Stallone was like, you keep calling me that when I'm the villain. I'm the enemy. We find out he he was actually the bad guy, and he was trying to turn over a new leaf. He was he was living differently. It's like he put all that behind him. So some of y'all are that could be maybe <laughs> maybe it's like people don't even know. I really am the villain. <laughs> like I'm not the one to be messed with. Spirit guys, what's going on with the Virgo zodiac for the month of? booty up what's going on with the uh virgos over there for the month of may in the year 2023 it's like people don't know what you're capable of until they really start dealing with you okay ten of wands with the strength card 
built for a tough. You got some strong shoulders. Some of you guys with the Hermit card and Ten of Wands, not only are you wise enough, not only are you capable enough, smart enough, I'm beeping your horn right now. Strength card, courageous enough to handle. You can handle a heavy load. With the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands, this for me is um the things that you want out of life is going to take a lot of hard work. And I feel like you're willing to work for a Knight of Cups. It's like, I'm ready. I'm ready, boss. You know, <laughs> put me in, coach. Now, some of you guys need to be careful about not being in this energy. Eight of Swords, Knight of Cups, and Ten of Wands. It's kind of like you're a little bit scared to go after certain things because you're worried about, well, what if it gets too heavy? Girl, ain't that what we train the gym for? When you first get in there, you don't think you're going to be able to bench, you know, um, 150. You don't think you're going to be able to bench that. But when you stay in there consistently, you win that motherfucker. Mm. Mm. You getting it, okay? Once you once you in the action. Once you in action. Last card. Spirit, guys, what's going on with the Virgo Zodiac for the month of May? In the year 2023. Two of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. So I do see, please... Be responsible as it relates to taking care of your financial responsibilities. Don't get distracted. You know what I'm saying? If you went into the mall for one thing, come out with one thing. Be walking past Ralph Lauren. I know they got the, the bucket headed up. Just keep walking. You know? All right? Keep moving. Don't let certain um, temporary distractions, whether it be emotions or uh, physical things, keep you from the goal, okay? Certain impulses, maybe. <sighs> um, I do see some of you guys traveling. You have traveled as of recently, or some of you guys will be traveling. Oh, you're going to a faraway land, I'm hearing, like somewhere you've never been before. You deserve this, too. With the Ten of Wands, a lot of you guys work very hard. You deserve this. Her man, too. I'm seeing some of y'all could overwork yourself. Not you talking shit. Some of you guys do tend to overwork yourself, right? Nine of Wands. It's, it's like, I don't know what it's like not to work hard. I, talk, I could never imagine that. <laughs> some of y'all are like that, right? So I do feel like you deserve some time off. Some of you guys are taking it off. I do see someone here submitting some time off requests, taking some PTO. Yeah, I see someone here vacationing. And they out there. Look, this is Fabio. It, that look like Rico Spot. They are out here. Lovely. Someone here looks lovely on vacation. Ooh. Virgo, this was your May monthly reading. Any placement of Virgo? I don't really have anything out here specifically, though. Like the video, leave a comment telling me if this resonated with you in any way. Subscribe. Pricing and contact information will be in the description box down below. All other info will be in the pinned comment and comment section. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.